Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 16. Let's call this equation 1, and that a times b, this is equal to 4. Let's call this equation 2. Now, what is the value of a plus b, given that a is not equal to 0 and that b is not equal to, to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. So from equation 1, which is a squared, minus b squared, this is equal to 16. Now, a squared minus b squared, this is in the form of x squared minus y squared, the difference of two perfect squares that can be expressed as x plus y, then x minus y. So, applying this identity, then here we have a plus b, a minus b, this is equal to 16. The next step from here, let's square both signs. So this is 16 raised to the power of 2. Now, a plus b times a minus b raised to the power of 2, this can also be expressed as a plus b raised to the power of 2, then multiplying by a minus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16 squared, which is 256. Now, a plus b raised to the power of 2, we are saying this is again in the form of x plus y raised to the power of 2 that we can express as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. As well as a minus b raised to the power of 2, this is in the form of x minus y raised to the power of 2, which we can express as x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Applying these two algebraic identities, then a plus b to the power of 2 becomes a squared plus b squared plus 2mb. Multiplying by, here we have a squared plus b squared subtract 2ab. This is equal to 256. Now, the next step is that we have here a squared plus b squared, then plus 2 times a times b. We have a times b here is what we have in equation 2, which is 4. So, let's substitute 4. So, here we have 4. And then here we have a squared plus b squared, subtract 2 times 4, cross the parentheses. This is equal to 256. Now, here we have a squared plus b squared plus 4 times 2. This is 8. Again, here we have a squared plus b squared minus 8. This is equal to 256. The next step is that a squared plus b squared we can categorize this part as x and as well as this part to be y, a to be y. Now, this is the same thing as x here, and this is equal to y. So this implies that this is in the form of x plus y, x minus y, that we can express as x squared minus y squared. So let's apply this identity so that here we have a squared, plus b squared raised to the power of 2, then subtract 8 raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 256. The next step is that here we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 256. Now, Minus 8 squared, this is 64, so minus 64, if you take it on the right hand side, this becomes plus 64. And this implies that here, a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this should give us a value of 320. Now from here, to solve for a squared plus b squared, we introduce a square root on both sides so that we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 
320, which we can express as the square root of 64 multiplied by 5. So here we have, let's eliminate the square root sign so that we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64. This is 8, then square root of 5. Now, the next step from here, we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. So now, here we have two values of a squared plus b squared. We have that a squared plus b squared. This is equal to positive 8 square root of 5. And we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to minus 8 square root of 5. Now, we have that a squared plus b squared. This is a positive value but if you check here we have minus 8 square root of 5 which is a negative value so in this case this part is rejected this part is rejected so now we have a squared plus b squared is equal to positive 8 square root of 5 so here we have a plus b to the power of 2 this is equal to a squared plus b squared which is equal to 8 square root of 5 then plus 2 times a, b. Remember, a times b, this is the same thing as 4, which is actually equation 2. We have this in equation 2 here, which is 4. Now, here we have a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 8 square root of 5. Then plus 4 times 2, which is 8. Now, since 8 is common here, we can factor out... We can factor out 8 so that we have 8 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 5 plus 1. Now, to solve for a plus b here, what we do, we introduce a square root on both sides. So that now we have the square root of a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of, we can express 8 as 4 times 2 then we have square root of 5 plus 1 now let's simplify here then we have that a plus b this is equal to plus or minus now here we have the square root of 4 this is 2 then now we have the square root of 2 and then into the parentheses here, we have square root of 5 plus 1. Cross the parentheses. And this is the solution to this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. Now, see you in the next video. If you have alternative methods for Solving this algebra kind trade showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.